it is finally April, it is spring, I couldn't be happier. Um, we had a few days of sunshine, just a few days, and then I started going to the gym, I have started going to the swimming pool to swim, I'm going after this video, so I'm going to be very quick. And the reason why I'm mentioning the uh, gym and the swimming pool is because after that I wanted to protect my hair from the um, chl chlorine which is in the swimming pools so I I took a shampoo with me uh, I found a sample uh, of mythic oil and I used it after I went to the um, swimming pool and when I'm telling you that my hair never looked better I'm not lying it is so good so I went to Amazon and I ordered them the shampoo and the conditioner now the uh, milk came in a glossy box that's why I knew the um, the bra the, it is from L'Oreal and I knew the um, mythic oil milk which came in a glossy box I didn't really use it because I had all those oils that I was using at that time but then after I used the shampoo I put the mythic oil in my hair, uh, hair as well in my hair in my hair as well and when I tell you I fell in love with these products I had ordered them from Amazon because I couldn't find them in any boots big boots huge boots it's nowhere so they're online uh, they all contain um, argan oil and cotton seed oil and uh, passion fruit oil, all kinds of things. Uh, the smell is quite pleasant. It's not something like the Aussie shampoo, which smells like bubble gum, and I'm in love with this smell. But the fact that my hair afterwards has this amazing texture and volume and it it's soft and it doesn't grease after a day or two and oh my god and I think because they're quite pricey uh, I will buy them in intervals but I will definitely definitely keep using them now the other a little bit pricey product is of course the spring themed I would say naked palette 3 it has this so gorgeous rose gold metallic packaging the colors are simply stunning I can't describe enough today I'm wearing strange as a highlighter then on my lid I'm wearing buzz and then of course my beloved nooner on the crease which is a little bit darker pink um can you see not with this light i'm getting a light by the way so very soon i can film whenever i want and i'm so in love with this i am so happy it is an investment because i'm going to use it again and again and again i since i bought it i haven't been uh, eager or uh, prone to buy another eyeshadow and that will happen for a very long time I don't need I have all the colors in the world now so you never know but at the moment I am so ecstatic all three palettes from Urban Decay all the naked palettes are amazing uh, but this is the way of course it wouldn't be monthly favorites without me uh, speaking about the concealer and um, staying on the high-end brand, I had a few uh, quits, let's say, in uh, my um, uh, Harold's Rewards card. So I went and bought the Bobbi Brown kit, let's say, concealer kit. This is the uh, corrector, the corrector, and it is in light bisque. And um, it is sort of pinky because I have dark yet pale, if you can describe them like that, dark circles under my eyes. Completely disgusting. I hate them. 
So this is the corrector you put before the concealer. And then I got the concealer in beige and it also comes with a powder and the powder is in pale yellow like me <laughs> and uh, it, I'm quite satisfied the good thing is and um, that the concealer also contains a primer and with the primer the um, concealer stays in place so no more concealer going uh, like that or like that or like that I'm quite happy now, when I was reading the Boots magazine, uh, it was around, um, let's say, end of February, and I was thinking, mm, spring is coming, I will start wearing pink blushes, blushers. So, <laughs> I found in the Boots magazine this blusher, which is actually <clears throat> a blusher palette, and it's called the Peony Petals Blush Palette. And I absolutely love it because at the bottom you have the dark sort of bronzer um, blusher, stroke blusher. Then everywhere in the middle you've got the blusher blusher, which is a lovely pink. And then here you have your highlighter. And I'm wearing it today in my cheeks. I don't know if you can know. This, this light is, is, is turning me yellow. As, as much as I don't need any more yellow in my skin anyway. So I'm very happy with this um, blusher palette because also I had a coupon for, for number seven and I got it three pounds cheaper. And uh, it's around 12 pounds, I got it for nine. I love the packaging. The packaging is this um, sort of dark mirrored, glassy, uh, hematite uh, packaging and it's absolutely gorgeous. I got me the Kiko Precision Eye Pencil which is a fantastic eyeliner in number 300. I told you there is now a Kiko in Oxford Circus and I can't not go every now and then and check out what's new and this is quite a lovely uh, eyeliner. I it on my eyes and I'm very happy because also it doesn't move around, it stays in place. So it is quite a fantastic um, eyeliner and it's quite cheap. Kiko has fantastic. Keeping with the spring theme, two lipsticks from Slick. This one is Papaya Punch and this is a gorgeous orange, uh, orangey col uh, coral color, <laughs> red color. And I'll swatch it for you. It is a, a little bit on the orange side and um, it is very, very matte. It's not shimmery, it's not shiny at all. And I like wearing it on its own with no uh, lip gloss at the top because I like matte lipsticks. Even though they don't suit me as much, I really love them. The other one is the one I'm wearing today and I think I've been in love with this lipstick for many months now. And it is, of course, loved up. And I think I had it in another favorite, it's probably September one. I think this color is absolutely gorgeous. And um, I fell so much in love uh, with this color that I went to my girl who does my shellac and I said, can you please find me a similar color? And I got this one, which is pink bikini and uh, the um, shellac is fantastic any gel um, manicure is fantastic because look at the shine and the condition the perfect condition my nails still are in because with the shellac <coughs> sorry I'm <coughs> losing my voice with the shellac I, I got this uh, a week from yesterday, so eight days, no chip, still shining, uh, no fading, nothing. As absolutely amazing. This is called Pink Bikini and it is, um, I'm so happy I found shellac and it's around the corner from my house. So those were my beauty favorites. Now, about a year and a half ago, I did a video with my favorite YouTubers. 
And since then, this video, this um, list has been updated and of course expanded. And I might do another video with them. However, with the new faces. However, I thought I would include a beauty YouTuber or any other YouTuber that I like in my monthly favorites. And this month I couldn't decide between two uh, channels, let's say. And I decided, because it's the first uh, of my YouTube favorites, uh, to include both names. The first one is Amy from The Camera Lies Beauty. I will put her channel below and you can go check her out. And Amy is an absolutely gorgeous girl. She was a contestant in the Daily Mix uh, Beauty Bootcamp last year. Unfortunately, she came second. I wanted her to win. She is absolutely gorgeous. She's like a mermaid with long red hair and she has this smooth voice. Her videos, her beauty videos make me want to go and buy everything. Um, her vlogs are very enjoyable. She's a joy to watch and um, she has a fantastic voice. She sings. So, oh my God, I hope she does very well in her life. I know she's studying in Brighton. I hope she does very well because she is such an adorable person. And if you're watching Amy, all the best, sweetie. Now, Amy has also done a YouTuber's uh, video, a favorite YouTuber's video. And in that, she uh, suggested two girls. Two twin sisters, Lucy and Lydia, also have a beauty channel. And I went to check check it out. And when I'm telling you, I was totally hooked from the first video I saw. Because this girl, first of all, they are so beautiful. They are an, a joy to watch. They're, they're funny. They're doing very interesting beauty videos. Uh, they sing very well as well, they lip sync, they do nice lookbooks. It is a joy to watch, they're funny. So um, thank you Amy for suggesting these girls. And girls, if you're watching, I am totally hooked on your videos as well. Keep doing them, very well done, thank you. And finally, the final, final thing I'm going to talk to you about this month is a TV series. It has ended and I'm a bit late on that train. However, the reason why I'll tell you. About a couple of years ago, someone talked to me or I read something that Breaking Bad is very good. And I was like, I don't know, you know, drugs and mafia and cartels and uh, I don't know. Then they won these awards, either I think it was also in Emmys and Golden Globes. And my sister started watching it and she said, it's actually good. It's actually very good and, you know, I'm stuck now. And I said, uh, again, I don't know, it's not my scene, you know, drugs and mm, I'm, I'm, I have a very much more softer approach to life and uh, I loved Homeland and they screwed that up for me and then you know I, my favorite series of all time is Charmed that's about to change probably and when I was on holiday last month for a few days because I have the, a Netflix and I was bored and I what to watch what to watch let's see the pilot of Breaking Bad Oh my God, when I'm telling you that I probably watched that day nearly the whole first series, I, I stayed up and I watched a lot of episodes. I was so hooked. It is absolutely, probably, they say it's the, the, probably the best thing ever to come on the screen. I wouldn't, you know, it's not too far from the truth. Of course, I have to warn you, 
very very strong language very violent scenes beyond imagination and uh, drug references and all that it is not for very young people it's not for children however it is for people who like witty dialogues very much suspense um, amazing characterization of the of the protagonist and all the people that play i mean you have someone like, like i don't know skinny pit who is living in the gutter is a junkie you would kick him if you see him and then he one day he sits on the piano and he starts playing this amazing classical music so things like that all the characters are amazing good or bad i think i would fall in love with uh, gus fring he is so suave um of course walter white is such a complex personality jesse pinkman is absolutely adorable the wife i i'm not going to tell you a lot of details because i could speak for hours for this series i think it's one of the best i've ever seen i i have very strong sentimental connection with charm and nothing can top that ever but breaking bad is following very 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 closely so if you have you know the curiosity i would definitely recommend that you watch it and i think you will be hooked as well those were my march favorite i'm sorry that once again my video was very long it also took me very long to film it and i'm getting a bloody studio light very soon be patient that means that i will be filming more often and um whenever i want so until next time take care bye bye